Alright, um, there was a request for me to teach the All My Loving Rhythm Guitar part. And uh, this is my first lesson, so bear with me. But as you can tell by my uh, luxurious abode, I am at college right now, so I don't have my Rickenbacker, I have my acoustic. So the chords are the same and the playing is the same. So it should, uh, it should suffice. So for All My Loving, um, the first thing you got to do is the triplets. You got to figure out what works best for you uh, in playing them. It's different for each person. I've seen uh, the John guy in 1964, the tribute, really goes at it. It's like. He really, really plugs away. But if you see John Lennon, the real John, on the Ed Sullivan show, um, he really kind of played it delicately, kind of like... So you do what uh, works best for you, whatever that might be. Uh, when I do it, I guess, how do I do it? Uh, kind of in between. You know, I'm not really going at it, but I'm not, you know, pulling a John there. Uh, for the left hand, the fingering, um, if you see John on the Ed Sullivan show or in any of the live concerts, he fingers uh, all the chords pretty much the same, with a little slight differences from the record. Uh, on the record, uh, he plays B7 like this. It's very distinct, you can hear it. Um, but when he plays live, like on the Ed Sullivan show, he plays it like this. Just a normal B chord. So the record would sound like this. And if you want to do it like he played it live, it would sound like this. much the same thing, slight difference. Um, I like this way because that's a cool sounding chord. Uh, but do it however you want, uh, whatever you think sounds better. Uh, so that's the verse. The chords, I'll play each chord one by one if that makes it clear. The first one is F sharp minor, which is just... The second one is B7, which is either this... This. Oh, flat. Right. The next one is E, but John played his E in a unique way for this, kind of like a banjo type sounding chord. And uh, Steve Cropper also kind of used this kind of chord. And it's a D shape, but moved up two frets, and you bar your pinky over on the D string. So it sounds like this. It's an E chord, but it's a different shape on the neck. So the chords we have so far. Next chord is uh, C sharp minor. You can do it any way you want to. There are two different ways. You can bar your uh, pointer finger over, or do it like this, whichever is easier for you. I like to do it this way because it fits with the pattern. It's kind of a natural flow. Uh, the next chord is A. By the way, you only use the first four strings, pretty much, for all these chords, except maybe the B7. That's important, or else it kind of sounds too full and too, uh, you know, round. You kind of want it to just have the banjo type sound. So A, back to F sharp minor, and then D, but with your pinky over, this is how John did it, and then B7. And that repeats, and that's your verse. And I'll do it uh, once, uh, normal speed, just so you can kind of get a feel for it, and then I'll do it slow. It's a little bit more 
tricky on the acoustic than on the Rickenbacker. Uh, for obvious reasons, the neck is smaller on that. Um, but yeah, that's the general idea. I guess I'll do it a little bit slower now. set for the verse. Uh, then comes the, I guess it's the bridge, maybe? I don't know. But it's these chords. It's three chords and you repeat it. It's C-sharp minor, which we've seen already. And then this funky augmented chord, I don't know the name of it exactly, but it's funky. And it is... Then it goes back to E, which we know. So it's a descending pattern, I think, and it goes like this. The Beatles like to use this. It was in uh, Got to Get You Into My Life, too, I think. Yeah. And uh, a couple other songs. They use it in Till There Was You. Wait, it's C. Yeah, okay. It's a funky chord, and you have to know it for this song. Anyway, uh, the bridge is... Pretty straightforward. The chords are... Then is the solo, and uh, on the record, John played only three chords, um, and it's for the first. Here, I'll just play it real speed. This is the solo, like you know, but John plays this. up the B7 there, but you get the idea. It's A7, E7, and then B7, and then back to E. So in real time speed, if I don't screw it up again. is towards the end. It's actually the last like four measures. They're in, you know. Except this time John slides up here to the 11th and 9th frets to this. It's the same shape as your F sharp minor, but you slide it up to this. And then it eventually goes up to the 12th fret. C or E. Uh, in normal speed, it sounds like this. And the chords are just this and this. Um, I think that's pretty much it.